in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design for nest cafe grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document choose a solid color we are going to create another solid color With the mark selected, grab a soft hand brush, opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to black. Right click and we are going to change the size of the brush. So we are just going to make a few clicks. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to multiply. Create a new layer. With a soft hand brush. We are just going to click once. Set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. We are going to grab this texture, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert that to a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. We are going to set the blend mode to soft light. Set the opacity to 12. Create a new layer. With a soft hand brush, foreground is set to white. Then we click once, Ctrl T to transform. With the layer in place, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. So we are going to drag this layer all the way to the top, right here. Holding down the shift key, we are going to select all these layers and copy them together. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this last selected, we right click and convert it to a smart object. We are just going to position and adjust it. With this layer selected, we are going to create a max. With a max selected, grab the brush to right click and set hardness to 100. Opacity is set to 100. Foreground is set to black. Then we are going to be masking out the portion. So we are just going to be masking out this portion. It's actually much faster with the pen too because you just create a selection and delete. With the brush too, you need to take your time so you can actually mask it properly. We do same for this. We are going to position the coffee bean just around it. We rotate that a bit, we position this right here. With this layer selected, we are going to create 
and exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. Set foreground to white and we are going to be painting some shadows. Undo. We right click and set hardness to zero. So we are just going to be painting some shadows. Foreground is set to white to paint. We set it to black, then we are just going to erase or mask it out. We are going to do the same for highlights. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are just going to paint. With this layer selected, we are going to press Ctrl J to make a copy. Right click and we are going to clip it onto this. We are going to increase the opacity. Create a solid color. With the layer selected, we are going to set blend mode to overlay. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft tone brush, we are just going to paint some back, but we don't need much of that. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. Reduce the opacity. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With a mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. We are going to be painting some shadows with a soft tone brush. We are going to reduce opacity. Foreground is set to white. And we are going to be painting some shadows. Create another exposure adjustment layer with a mask selected Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, foreground inside to white, we are going to paint some shadows.
with this layer selected, we are going to convert that to a smart object, then we are going to apply Gaussian blur. We are going to apply motion blur. So we are going to set our angle and radius. With this layer selected, we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Already clipped onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl R to invert. Basically, we are going to paint more shadows. Create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft tone brush, foreground is set to white. We are going to increase opacity, then we are just going to paint some back. We are going to create a new layer. Opacity is set to 100. Grab a soft tone brush. Then you click once. We are going to set the layer blend mode to overlay and reduce the opacity. To finish it off, we are just going to paint some particles and try to match the color. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl or Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer to a smart object. Then we'll go for camera raw. So filter, camera raw filter. All we are going to do is play with these settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Camera raw is like the icing on the cake. It actually makes it look way better. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.